Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. Right, I've come on to work in my book journal again. I've got a little bit of paper here and a few other bits and pieces. And I have got on my brayer um, a little bit of flesh and burnt sienna. So I just want to not have my page totally and I didn't know what colour to put it and I want to have it looking a little bit vintagey and I thought oh okay I think that colour will do so I'm okay with that so I think that's enough all right I'll just give that a try off and I'll be back I'm from the lake for the night because I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow so um I thought I'd come on and do a video now. What have I got here? I've got some little bits of paper that I'm going to use. And I think that I'm going to um, ink around them with some frayed burlap. Just to cover up the white bits and just make them stick out a little bit. Yeah. That colour there looks a little bit pinkish compared to these, don't they? So I think I might just go over it a bit with this. Just to change the page and maybe I should have just done that in the first place. Take a bit of that pinkish look off it salmon -y look right that looks a bit looks a little bit um, hot meshes hot mess hot mess at the moment but never mind we all just Carry on and see how we go. Turn it off. I won these makeup brushes in a giveaway, and they're absolutely fabulous. I'd have to buy some more of them for my other colours. Just can I just put down a little bit of. little bit of paper. I quite like this style and I thought oh well I'll come on and have another go at it. Try and um, right. might just take that straight bit off there and it still looks a bit straightish doesn't it but it's not quite so straight. Right, I might just layer those down like that a bit. Mm, quite like that. So I think we'll put that there for a start. Right, let's start with this one. So the weather's been quite nice at the lake. But it is starting to get cool and I meant to take my wool duvet down with me and forgot so I will be taking that down with me tomorrow after I have been to the doctors. I'll just move that up here a bit. Straightish, doesn't it? We'll just change that a little bit more. Keep that bit. I might use that bit yet, but we'll just 
do is yeah, put the lid back on that so it doesn't dry out. And take that up a little bit higher. Yep, we'll do that. Right. So yes, it was. Quite cool a couple of night, couple of the nights, and it is getting colder. So um, I think on the other side we'll do a little bit of the same sort of cut down a bit. Um, same sort of thing, but. I got here. This is here is a little bit of my um, having a go at um, eco eco. Um, dying but it didn't turn out and I found out afterwards that you're supposed to bind them all together tightly and put something heavy on them and um, yeah it just didn't work out it was quite disappointing but hey paper is still I think I'm going to put that down here on this side. Hmm. That side's a bit better colouring, but never mind. I'm quite pleased to be going to the doctors tomorrow because my back is absolutely giving me jip. I'm going to put this down in the middle of it. It's not quite glued. It's a troll when you start putting paint and things on the pages. And they don't want to glue down. Right. I didn't ink that. So I'm going to do that. Even though it's got glue all over it. It's getting all over my fingers. in the middle like that. Just stuck to my fingers and ripped. Got no baby wipes. Put a little bit of this on. Just because we can. To spread it out too much. Just put that there as well. And then like that. And that's not glued down properly. Here we go. Okay. That's what we're looking like for a start. And I think that's possibly enough paper. Right now, I'm really not liking that background. So, I think I'll be back. Okay, I have um, got some gesso on my brush and I'm just going to go over it a bit. That's around. Just, I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to Sort of give it a wipe off. Hopefully, because I don't have any wet wipes. So, yeah. 
want it to be too thick. Uh, I really do not like that, so I've got to. No, I won't use that. I will use a baby white, and I will just put it on and wipe it off a bit. See what? See how that works out. Just cleaned up my mess. So I don't, don't want to get gesso everywhere. Right. I think I found my baby wipes after all that. And that just ripped your nighty. Right. I'll just push one of those out. There, wipe my hands and just go over that a little bit. Okay, I'm much happier with that, so I'll just dry that off and I'll be back. Right, I've been back, and I think that I am going to get out some. Vintage photo. And I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Now I might have some tech stamp here. Oops. Another little stamps that have been hanging around. Right, let me see if that'll stick. No, it won't. I have a little trick where I just put a little bit of glue stick on my block to hold it down. Right. Now I like to find out if I'm going the right way. And that is the right way. So we're just going to step put a little bit of this around. can see that but that's what that is right I'll take that off and now I think I might just put a little a little postage oh that's cool I like that I'll do another one just up here yeah, like that. Okay. Right, now, let me see what else I have got here. Right, I have got some little cutouts here. Now, I've got these ones here from Mirima's Small Art. She had some, she was having some um, freebies. We go in and make a little price of what you thought it was worth, or you could get it for nothing. And, or um, buy her a cup of coffee. So I've got several bits and pieces, but 
this is the last one I printed off and I think I'm going to just put put some little bits of this around this was all cut off the same page and this this bit here was the background which is really cool so I thought I would have some of those bits of background and just just do that oh, I quite like that just as it is this little little butterfly that was down with her um, I did cut that out as well but I don't know where it went with her name but I will put it in the show more Miramis Small Art I'm sure everybody knows her but I quite like that I think I'm going to put that down like that so we'll just pull those out and we'll get our glue stick once again just give a bit of paper so I can glue on it right card right, so we'll just have that there like that and just edge the side of this just because we can I'm going to do like that. And my key. Let's forget to do them before I ink them. I'm going to have that over there like that. Just like that, I think. Yeah, like that. Hold it up so you can see it. Right, I should have inked around this one too. It's not quite sticky. Oh, it just wasn't pushed down. Right. Now, got this little bit that's going to go here. Now we had something else, didn't I? What did I do with it? I'm not sure I had another piece. Isn't that ripped and nighty? Okay, I'll wipe it off here with these other little bits and pieces that I had. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. I quite like that little bit. And this um, here was part of the background too that I quite like, so I thought I'll have that as well my cut out right we'll just put that right here like that and a little butterfly I'll put that on that side maybe not I'll just stick that over there Use it on the other side. Now, on the other side, what are we going to do? Oops, I didn't clue this bit down, did I? Maybe there's another bit. Oh, a little postage thing it just goes with that quite nicely. Right. I think I am going to ink that. If you forget to ink something and you want to, this I have found is the easiest way to do it. Get a little cue stick and get our 
ink, just ink up your cue stick and just first oh, that's a bit messy. But if you've got steadier hands than me it'll always turn out a little bit better. one here I just coloured up with my distress inks and I'll show you the rest of the page I just took my ink and rubbed bits of ink over it and I thought it came out quite cool and of course once you brought them you can print them off as many times as you like so I quite like that there and so I think I'm going to glue that down but I did think about inking this with a little bit of the green or the blue that I used to that I used to um, ink it just to cover up the little white bits because my eyesight's not great so I just leave a little bit of white these days and I'm quite okay with that just go around our bits it wasn't too bad around the rows or around here but in there and I'm okay with that Some little, bit of, little bits around there that could have a little bit of blue on them but yeah yeah I'm okay with that that goes back out of the road and I think I'm just going to put that down like that right just turn my bit of paper over I was quite pleased with how this came out with the inking I mean I'm going to print it out again and just use it as a black and white as well but I was just having a play before I went away and I thought oh quite quite like that so I thought tonight that I would use that little bit of it I love that and this too is going to be um, my now I don't know what the week is I'll have to check it up and put it in the down more for um, next Emporium and Moors is um, insects or birds or mice or something or one of them is insects anyway so this is going to be my insect page as well right well, I really quite like that that's what it's looking like right now 
what are we going to do anything else I might just get my blue out and just get my Turn it over for the sticky side so that my feather that I found I might just put a few little don't have to be full feathers just my background bring in the blue and just because I can hmm. I like that I'm very happy with that so I'm going to ink my page with the darker vintage photo and the edges just because I can because I really quite like to have my pages with a bit of a border or you no know. and this to me pages are very brittle in this book it's a very old book just threw it on the floor right I'll get a pen a pen here and where are we going to write let's try shaver here right the date today is the mm, 26th okay. Mags. I'll just write Megs because it's short and the 26th of the 4th, 21. Right. I'm quite enjoying these little pages. There. They're a little bit of clarge and a little bit of... inks and paints and I just think they're quite cool right so that is my video for tonight thank you for being with me Kia Kaha stay strong and I'll catch you again soon <laughs>